Studies show that TSW patients have excess levels of NAD+. NAD+, is a form of vitamin B3 made by our cells to produce energy. A niacin flush is where your skin gets hot, red, and itchy. In TSW, it's a little like that. TSW is a perpetual niacin flush. Topical steroid withdrawal is painful, frustrating, and slow to heal. But what if the active ingredient in a naturally occurring Chinese herb is able to ease your symptoms and support your recovery? Hi, I'm Dr. Mark. I am a Chinese medicine doctor based in Singapore. I have been treating TSW for over a decade, and today I want to share something that has gained attention over the last one year. It is this compound called berberine. Before we dive into berberine, let's first find out what TSW is. TSW is not just eczema. It is a reaction that happens after stopping long-term use of topical steroids. Unlike regular eczema, in TSW, we see red skin syndrome, a burning sensation on the skin, hot and cold in the body, oozing skin, insomnia, very, very intense itch. TSW is a different kind of inflammation. It's more severe. It does not just affect your skin. It affects the whole body. Studies show that TSW patients have excess levels of NAD+. NAD+, is a form of vitamin B3 made by our cells to produce energy. The problem in TSW patients is that there's excess, too much production of NAD+. I'll give you the example of the niacin flush so you can understand this better. There are people who use niacin supplementation. They do high doses of niacin so that they have more energy. One of the side effects of niacin at high doses is that they get a niacin flush. A niacin flush is where your skin gets hot, red, and itchy. In TSW, it's a little like that. TSW is a perpetual niacin flush. Steroids push tryptophan into making more niacin. And more niacin means increased kynuronines. Extra niacin turns into kynuronines, which pumps up inflammation. Tryptophan is also drained. And because tryptophan is used to make serotonin, when there's less tryptophan, there's less serotonin. And when there's less serotonin, there's lowered mood and disrupted sleep. Berberine is found in herbs like Huanglian. It's long been used to reduce inflammation and support metabolism. New research by Dr. Ian Miles is exploring how it might help TSW. In clinical cases, we see 70 to 75% symptom improvement. And this is from reduction in inflammation alone. So how do we as Chinese medicine practitioners understand berberine? Berberine is in the herb Huanglian. And we use Huanglian a lot in our clinic, especially in the treatment of TSW. I'm going to share three functions of Huanglian that explain why it's useful in the treatment of TSW. The first function is that Huanglian clears heat. And this is why Dr. Ian Maus might be saying that berberine, when used in the treatment of TSW, reduces inflammation by up to 75%, and that's a lot. The second function of Huanglian is that it clears heart fire. Although we say heart fire is here, heart fire goes all the way up. By clearing heart fire, Huanglian is able to calm the mind. And this may have to do a little with the tryptophan, the serotonin, and the disordered sleep we spoke about earlier. The last function of Huanglian is that it dries dampness. If you're suffering from TSW, you understand. In the most intense moments, you are weeping. There will be oozing from your skin that sticks to your bed sheets. In TCM, we understand this as dampness, and Huanglian is able to dry dampness. That is how we as Chinese medicine practitioners understand Huanglian. But Huanglian is not berberine. Berberine is the extracted active ingredient in Huanglian. We believe that Dr. Ye Maus has found something really useful, that at 500 mg to 1000 mg, berberine supplementation can be very useful for TSW sufferers. Every TSW journey is different, and this could be worth exploring. We have several patients already using berberine supplementation to facilitate healing. It could be useful for you, and if it does, we wish you the best. We hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something. If you have used berberine supplementation in your TSW recovery, please share about it because it's always useful information. Do like and subscribe, and we hope that the next video is just as educational. Thank you.